Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning on our prayer request today. Pray for Sean. He's going through some some hard times. Um, Luke is in bad health. He hasn't been able to swallow for a long time. Pray that the good Lord will heal him. Frank is having sh shoulder surgery uh, the 25th. Pray all goes well and for a speedy recovery. Becky had her treatment and is doing really well so far. Beth's feet are giving her a lot of trouble. She's diabetic. She started on antibiotics for them. Pray that she gets better. Damaris is having bad allergies. She goes to the doctor this week. Pray that they can help her feel better. Mario is home from the hospital. Pray that his COVID and leg infection gets better. Pray for Carol and her sister. Her sister was just diagnosed with lupus and Carol's very worried about her. Tina has breast cancer and needs a double mastectomy. She's at risk for losing her insurance also. Pray that everything works out and she'll be okay. Wanda fell and broke two ribs, her femur, her wrist, and her foot, too. Pray that she'll be okay. Pray for Amber. She's still in the ICU. Pray for Charlene and Alyssa. They wrecked in a four-wheeler Sunday and had to be taken to the hospital with injuries. Gary's cousin Jan lost her husband of 61 years and is struggling, uh, pray for comfort for her and for peace. Okay. All right, our scripture of the day comes from Romans 13, 11 through 14. I've been in Romans for a while. They haven't had anything in there. And do this understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. All right. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Let It Go. Augustine's autobiographical confessions describes his long and winding journey to Jesus. On one occasion, he was riding to the palace to give a flattering speech for the emperor. He was fretting over his deceptive applause lines when he noticed a drunken beggar joking and laughing. He realized the drunk already had whatever fleeting happiness his shifty career might bring, and with much less effort. So Augustine stopped striving for worldly success. But he was still enslaved by lust. He, he knew he couldn't turn to Jesus without turning from sin, and he still struggled with sexual immorality. So he prayed, grant me chastity, but not yet. Augustine stumbled along, torn between salvation and sin, until finally he had enough. Inspired by others who had turned to Jesus, he opened the Bible to Romans 13, 13 through 14. Let us behave decently, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. That did it. God used those inspired words to break Augustine's chains of lust and brought him into the kingdom of the Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Augustine became a bishop who remained tempted by fame and lust, but he now knew whom to see when he sinned. He turned to Jesus. Have you? 
What's keeping you from giving your life to Jesus? How might your life change if you let it go? Dear Father, let nothing come between me and you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.